welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to lose weight while you're on your period. So some period hacks for you guys. I did a video on period hacks that has to do with cramping, bloating, uh, what else is there during our lovely time of the month. Emergency DIY kind of thing. So go over on that video if you want to hear more about your period in general. But I know periods can be kind of taboo to talk about, but we're girls here and we get it every single month, unfortunately, and the struggle is so real. Today I thought I would add fitness and periods together because I know our time of the month is the time that sometimes our fitness kind of slacks, our diet kind of slacks. It's just a time where it's really difficult. Thumbs it up girls if you can relate where you get the worst cravings ever. Sometimes you just want the worst junk food, chocolates, chips, just fast food. You just bring it to me. This is a way to help you stay on your fitness journey, to lose weight still while you are on your period and to not make that affect you every single month. So I got your back girl because I really do know the struggle. Props to us to dealing with that thing every single freaking month. Mm. Also, if you go over right now to my Instagram, I'm doing this thing where if you tell me you're coming from this video and you follow me, I will go spam your account, but make sure your account is not private because your girl cannot creep you and stalk you and like you and really like you. Super like. They don't even have a super like on Instagram. You guys know what I mean. Thumbs it up if you like it. Maybe I'll do more videos on the period and let's just get into it. A tip I have for you guys is cut out the junk food and especially the processed foods such as takeout, burgers, all that good stuff. Take it out of your diet, especially a week before your period because this can slow down your body's detoxification and it can also lead to some weight gain during your menstrual cycle. So get that out of your diet even a week before your menstrual cycle says hello to you. <laughs> also cut out products that contain alcohol, caffeine, sugar, dairy, and spices because this can also contribute to a lot of bloating and PMS or moodiness during your period time and nobody wants that. <laughs> is during your period while you're on it eat a little bit more than you normally do as in eat more meals a day so if you do have the typical three meals a day I would suggest having six meals a day of course you don't want to eat big big meals a day you need to have it's all about moderation so as long as you're having small portions but you definitely have to eat more frequently throughout the day while you're on your period and try and add a lot of fruits and vegetables and soy products within those sittings of eating Basically, soy it helps diminish a lot of the menstrual symptoms that you do get. So you definitely want to have a lot of like have soy milk or something like that. For example, just adding some soy a little bit into your diet, especially during that time of the month. Now we're gonna move on to another one. So a lot of us don't go to the gym on our period and we're just over it. But honestly, you should still be exercising. I'm gonna be showing you guys some exercises you could do at home during your period. However, you should do more low intensity exercises as opposed to doing high intensity exercises during that time of the month. And then and you could go back to your high intensity once you're off your period but it's just really good to keep up with your fitness you should still be exercising I find when I exercise it does help also with my cramping your workout should be for about 30 minutes and do maybe three times a week during this time but I'm just gonna get into the workouts this first exercise is called skaters and I like to do about three sets of 30 seconds it's just gonna get your heart rate up and it's not gonna make you too over exhausted but it's a super good exercise for your legs and to also slim down this next exercise is also really good for getting the heart rate up and it's going to be jump squats but you're going to add a twist to it so you're going to go back and forth on both sides. I like to do three sets of 20 and you're definitely going to feel the burn in the legs and the booty and it's also going to make you a little bit tired as well. This next exercise is going to be another form of squat. So all I did is I go into a squatting position and then I stand up and go on my tippy toes. So it's really going to help your calves as well. And when you go down, you're just going to make sure you extend your arms all the way out. This next one is quiet burpees. So it's like doing burpees, but without the jump, you're just going to extend both legs up and then come back up and you could do as many sets as you want. I personally, once again, like to do three sets of 20 for everything, but this is just a really good workout to get all your muscles working and it's not going to over exhaust you during your period. This next exercise is called side to side jacks and this is a really good cardiovascular exercise. It's a really good low impact exercise for you guys and you're just going to move side to side while putting your arms up. So like I said, it's kind of like you're doing a jumping jack but without the jump in it. 
In this last exercise I will be sharing with you guys are seated tuck jumps. So all you're gonna need is a chair and you're gonna bring your knees all the way up to a 90 degree angle and this is just really gonna help your abs. Great thing to do while you are on your period if you don't want to do let's say exercises or at home exercises is yoga it's super good for you and it's more of a lighter workout and there's a bunch of videos on YouTube that you can search up if you are a beginner to yoga now I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a bunch of bloating hacks so during our time of the month a lot of us bloat and we gain this excess of water that's what makes us feel a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier and just not as confident in ourselves we have all this water fluid in us so I'm gonna share with you guys some hacks that you could do during your period that will really help with that so if you do have an event or you have something and you just want to feel slimmer then these are the things to do make sure you're keeping up with drinking water you should still be drinking six to eight glasses a day because actually drinking water will help reduce the water retention that you get during your period so if you're really dehydrated you're gonna feel more bloated so make sure you are drinking your fluids and you are staying hydrated eating a lot of water-based products is super good as well because this this prompts the release of extra water from your body so for example eating things such as lettuce or watermelon or cucumbers or berries are really good things to eat during that time of the month also eating potassium based foods are super good during this time of the month because it regulates your fluid level in your body to get rid of excess water and this includes things such as apricots such as bananas etc and potassium rich foods such as bananas eating a banana is actually super good for you as well because it helps with the cramping so if you get really bad cramping have something like a banana because it is full of potassium and with that, you should stay away from certain foods that cause kind of like gas foods that kind of give you a little bit more gas in there, especially during that time of the month. So this includes things such as broccoli, Brussels sprouts, beans, cauliflower, and cabbage. So just maybe stay away from that during your time of the month and then you can go back to it after because that just causes a little bit more extra gas and you're already a little bit more bloated because you are on your period. Another way to reduce your bloating is drinking peppermint tea and I absolutely love doing this. You can do this a few times a day. This can also reduce bloating, but another thing that it could do, it can also be a natural way to relieve your pain if you do get bad cramping. And lastly, another one that helps with bloating is definitely ginger. So you can chow down on some ginger, put some ginger in your tea, all that good stuff, because that is just such a good source to help you with not bloating. And the last tip I have for you guys is to add some flax seeds or chia seeds into things such as, let's say if you're eating a smoothie, if you're drinking a smoothie, putting in a handful of chia seeds or, tea, or a tablespoon of chia seeds or flax seeds are super good because they are super high in fiber and, th and this is going to move things along. I know a little TMI, but it is super good as well because it's easily digested, flax seeds and chia seeds, so don't be scared to use them during your diet, especially during your period. And it's actually said that chia and flax seeds can also enhance your mood because sometimes, not all of us, but you may go through mood swings during that time of the month. Sometimes we don't. It really depends. I hope all these tips helped you and it helped you to stay on track on your journey even though you are on your period either right now or you're gonna get it so I hope you guys enjoyed it it was so much fun for me to make I hope these were really good tips for you guys as well I will leave my fitness playlist in the description box for you guys if you want to see other fitness videos such as at-home workouts or fitness routines all that stuff I have so many for you guys so make sure you guys watch that don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it click that subscribe button down below to join the Nicolette's fam jam because your girl uploads every other day here on my channel Channel. and I hope you guys are having a fabulous day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!